Hey guys, what's going on? I wanted to make a follow-up to the video I made recently about getting the Apple Magic Trackpad working on Windows. While that method I posted does work and it, you know, gets you going with that extra software, thanks to one of my comments, I was able to install those precision drivers I had mentioned in the video where I couldn't get it to work. And after getting that going, I wanted to show you guys how much better it seemed to be once I got it going. I wanted to just make this real quick and show you that you really can get a much better experience if you start using those drivers. And then I wanted to compare it to an actual MacBook and see how the trackpads compare in terms of the functionality once you're using those precision drivers. The only downside compared to using that other driver is that you have to use it wired. It doesn't support wireless at this point, it seems. So if you're okay with using the USB cable, then I think this is the better way to go because because one, it's quicker to install, two, it doesn't use that thing where it puts you into Windows test mode, and three, you just get better functionality, better scrolling, more gestures, all that stuff. So let's go ahead and do this real quick and I'll show you exactly what it takes because it's super easy. So first off, I've got a fresh laptop here, hasn't had anything done to it. Plug in the USB, trackpad is working like we did in the previous video. This is just very limited functionality. This is just basically clicks, no gestures or anything. So we're gonna to navigate to this uh, web page. I will put a link to it in the description and you're gonna download this driver right here, the AMD64 release M signed.zip. So once you get it unzipped, you're gonna go in and look for this file right here, the AMTP TP device. And you're just gonna right click and install. Just hit open, yes. And just like that, it should be installed. So now that that's installed, all we have to do is go to the touchpad settings to check it and you can see here, now we've got all the gestures and the different options for a Windows Precision touchpad. And you can change everything here. We've got three finger gestures. So right now if we swipe up with three fingers, we'll get the show apps and desktop, just like that. If we go, yeah, we can change the direction here, down or up. Pinch to zoom should work. So let's pull up a web page and we'll, so you can see we are zooming with the web page here. We can go side to side with the fingers, up and down. If you remember from the previous video, it's way smoother now. Like it actually feels really nice to use this. If we go back, we can look at anything else we have. According to this, a three finger tap, we'll do a Windows search. Let's try. There you go. Pulled up the search bar. Four finger gestures, switch apps. Let's go. So four fingers now we can go through what we have open. And if we go down, it'll show desktop. If we go up, multitask view. Apparently if you do four finger touch, you can change it as well. I'd probably do middle mouse button. So let's see if that works. So if we hit a link, let's go. Yep, there you go. Opened up into a new tab. Like if you did a middle mouse click, four finger tapping to me doesn't feel very natural though. But just like that, you've got as smooth as it can be. This is the best trackpad experience you can get on Windows, honestly. And why nobody else makes a trackpad for Windows, I don't understand. There were a couple random ones on Amazon, but nothing with precision drivers. There's a Logitech one that's discontinued, and I've actually used it before, and it's really nice feeling, but it, you still don't get the precision drivers and you're using Logitech proprietary software. With these drivers, this is all built in. Windows thinks this is a precision trackpad, just as if you're using any laptop that came with one. I think this is actually a much better option compared to one of those. And these trackpads are readily available. You can generally pick them up for about 50 to $70 used if you don't mind that, which is what I did. All in all, if you can handle the cable, I don't see any reason to not be using these drivers. So I just wanted to, real quick I guess, next is just compare it to how smooth it is on a actual MacBook and see. Cause you can see right here, our scrolling, it's very nice. We even have the momentum that we didn't get before. And I don't really have any issues with um, like missed clicks or anything. All right, now I just wanna do a quick comparison of how it feels in macOS compared to Windows. If you've already gotten it installed and don't care about this, feel free to click out now. I just wanted to do this for a little bit of a side-by-side uh, -side considering I just got done with it, so it's pretty fresh. So first things first, obviously we get it wireless when it's on the MacBook here. So get compared to what the gestures are here. So um, you've got tap with three fingers, look up data, Secondary click, yeah, tap with two fingers, tap with one finger to click. We've got the same thing, the scrolling direction, the zooming in and out. Um, you don't get things like this as double tap to zoom, um, which I've actually never used. Oh, the rotate, I didn't check that in the other um, one. More gestures. The swipe between pages, I'm not sure if that actually works with the Windows one, that didn't seem to be an option. So that's actually a pretty handy one. The notification center, like, oh, 
I've never used that one before, so that one's new to me. Mission control swipe up with three. Yeah, so you got that. Um, la launch pad pinch with thumb and three fingers. Wow, that's handy. That's not very natural at all. But there are some more options for sure when you're in macOS. It makes sense considering it was designed for it. But let's see how the actual functionality feels other than these extra features that it just doesn't support. We're gonna pull up channel here, look at the previous video. So scrolling honestly feels identical. It feels just as good. You have the same momentum. It doesn't feel feel like there's any difference really. It's just as smooth, it's just as nice as you wanted it. So if you know what it feels like in Mac OS, it's definitely worth it to use it in Windows if you're looking for an external trackpad. So we can pinch to zoom normally in maps here. You can also two finger to zoom. So yeah, the only other thing that really that you don't get is the, the double click or the, the force when you do the two by pushing down a little bit harder. But honestly, I don't really ever notice a reason to use it. So like, I don't need to do that. I don't need to look up stuff about it. So it's not really ever something that came up. It's a cool idea, but in uh, actual working with it, I don't ever think it's an issue. So, so yeah, in conclusion, it's very comparable and it's a very nice experience either way you go if you can survive without a couple of the gestures. So there we go. All right, that's going to do it for this update video. I hope it uh, helped you guys out when looking to install a Magic Trackpad on Windows. Uh, as it stands, this is definitely the best option you can get for an external trackpad in Windows. And everything I've searched, I can't find anything that's even comes close to comparable to the Apple trackpad. And with these precision drivers, it makes it as good as any trackpad you can get on a high-end laptop or something. So I definitely think it's worth a look and something you could use every day and definitely enjoy all the functionality of a Windows precision trackpad. Let me know down below if you're using a Magic Trackpad on Windows, and definitely remember to leave a like and consider subscribing. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.